Just one of them almost wore us out. And now there's two more? Damn it. What's the plan? Humans, step out of the way. Who said that? This should be a perfect offering. Kill them. Yes, sir. Leave it to me. This must be the place. It's... it's amazing. Such speed, such strength, and such... faces. Yeah, I remember them. You there. For humans, you make a worthy showing. You guys, are you... The Furious War? Ah, it is increasingly rare that a human would know the proper name of our tribe. Most humans merely call us beast men or werewolves. Delph. Huh? What is it, Sevilla? I did not think we could bring down three whole boars. We can't bring them back with what we have. This is true. D Dolph? Hmm. What is it, human? It's, it's you. You're the king of the furious roar. So, you know of me. Indeed, I am Dolph, the King of the Furious Roar. Well, uh, you know a guy named Cougar? Cougar? No, I don't know that name. You don't know that name? I find that hard to believe. You're his direct superior, I hear. Watch your tongue. Only Savila and Lycia are in my direct charge. I do not know the name Cougar. But that can't... Get out of there while you still can! But, but... Making him angry will only make things worse. You won't be able to find out what you need to know. You're a curious lot. But that being as it is, I suppose I should ask your names. Huh? And I am Roberto, of the Blades of Night's Veil. Vale. I see. All right, all of you. You're coming with us back to our stronghold at Cragbark. Excuse me? You hunted the Pecklers as well, so you will have your pick of the most choice meat. What is left will be divided among the tribe. Such are the laws of the Furious Roar. Plus, we'll have to carry all this back to Cragbart and have it cooked, so you'll have to come along. The laws of the Furious Roar, but we're humans! It matters not if you're human. Once you have brought down the Peklars, there are no exceptions. Such presumption. Hey! Look, I still have stuff I want to ask him about this cougar guy. Well, looks like we have no choice. Right then, you'll need to follow me. No doubt the tribe will welcome humans as tough as you with open arms and retracted claws. Okay. We're going to go on ahead and get some help carrying back the carcasses. Lord Dolph, you can escort our visitors. Take your time. Leave it to me. Well then, until later. Whoa! I've never seen anyone move so fast. Amazing. They're already out of sight. Yes. There are no others in our tribe that are as lithe and move with such agility as they do. But we will be moving at a slower pace. Cragbark is this way to the west.
you've come. Perfect timing. We're just about to summon you. This, it smells so amazingly good. It really does. This is peckler meat? <laughs> this is the extra special meat. Try it and see what you think. But before that, we invoke the spirits. Spirits? I know that you humans have no belief in spirits. All you have to do is face the sacred pillar where the spirits reside and close your eyes. Well, if that's all we need to do... That should do. Alright then, there is no need to hold back. Feel free to eat as much as you like. Okay, let's eat. Oh. Oh, this is... I can't believe it's this delicious. I certainly have never had anything like this back in my home country. <laughs> I do not doubt that. I do not doubt that at all. Delicious. So good. Lysia, behave yourself in front of our guests. Now that, that was some eat. Thank you for the feast. You have a big appetite for humans. Not as big as mine, of course. You must have eaten three times as much as I did. Where do you put it all? What's important is that you ate your fill. And now, I believe you have something you would like to speak with me about. About the order, no doubt. Oh, you knew? King Dolph, if the Order are going to expand their forces, they'll do it at any cost. Their next move may very well be to send an army to the Plains in an attempt to crush the Furious Roar. Yes, indeed. Damakuto, he's a snake. I don't think he'll play fair. What you speak of is reasonable. Your tribe will take us in? We'll fight beside you if the Order makes an attack. We can't let them get away with using brute force to do whatever they want. I see. I am grateful for your advice. From tomorrow we will intensify our patrolling and prepare for war. However, I believe we will have to reject your offer of assistance. But King Dolph, the military might of the Order is... All of you heard what that Makuto had to say to me, did you not? We are the tribe of the Furious Roar. Our spirit ancestors stand with us. We fear no danger. So you're saying that you're not going to ask for help from a bunch of outsiders? We have prepared lodgings for you. You may stay the night, then be on your way. Wait a minute! We ain't done talking to you. Give it up. Once Dolph has made a decision, it's hard for even us who know him well to get him to change his mind. I kind of liked you guys, and was willing to have you fight beside us. But that's Dolph for you. Aw, oh, man. The boundaries of the Ninth World are almost clear to us. Casualties were miraculously few. Miraculously, you say? That is an unthinkably disgraceful thing for a member of the Order to say. I... Yes. Please forgive me. 
We are the Order, and we promise a future that is certain. I will brook no further trusting things to fate. You are to secure the Ninth False Chronicle by any means necessary. I understand. The young lady is already in place. She will soon be in contact with the Chronicle. If it is in the capable hands of my Sophia, then I have no doubt she will. If not, there will be trouble. What might it be that disappears next? A city? An entire country?
got it. You had enough yet? <sighs> They're both better fighters than I thought. Lord Dolph, we have to help them. Huh. That took more time than I thought. Sophia, Nova, fall back. Fresh troops? What? What? No! No way! Hello again. Did you miss me? Dirk! What's going on? Huh? Sophia, now is your time. I advise you to retreat. Things could go badly if this gets more out of hand. I don't recall being told that I have to follow your orders. That may be the case, but the rest of the Furious Roar will be here soon. Fine. I hear you. Your part in this drama is played out. Drama? Just what do you think this is? This was how you planned it, right? You keep the Roar off their guard. We grab the False Chronicle. What? What is he saying? Enough with your lies! Those order jerks are the enemy! Ah, but are they? I'm not your enemy, am I? You... Arr! What's wrong? Say something! What? Having trouble forming the words? Damn it! Ah, very well. Your plotting is at an end. You should take your leave of this place. <laughs> Dirk! You have been deceiving us all along? Was what he said the truth? You! I actually liked all of you! No, no it isn't! We can explain everything! Leave here! Get out of our village now! Wait! Hey, what was that all about? Look, I'm sorry. You're sorry? I want to know what that was all about! Dirk is... He, he's kinda my older brother. And losing Jail's older brother, from Citro Village. Kinda your older brother. I was an orphan, and he took me in under his wing. He taught me all sorts of stuff. Oh. Oh, I see. But why would a person like that be in the Order? I don't really know. But when we touched that book and gained our power, he got really mad. Now he's gone and made King Dolph and the others think that we're friends with the Order. I think he wants to keep us away from that book that King Dolph possesses. And so as a result, we're not going to be able to fight alongside the Furious Roar against the Order. Damn it. What a cowardly way of doing things. And that's why I said I'm sorry. So get out of here. Huh? Well, there's no point in your being here, is there? Um, I guess you're right. 